Hello, my name is Nicholas Dionysopoulos from Akiba Backup and I'm going to show you the two-factor authentication feature for Joomla 3.2. Traditionally, when you want to log into a site, you have to provide your username and your password. These are the two things that uh, you know and identify you to the system. The biggest problem with this approach of logging into a site is that the username and password can be stolen or can be guessed. For example, if your computer is infested with malware or if you try to access uh, your site from an untrusted network like a public Wi-Fi hotspot, it is possible that someone intercepts the login and has your username and password. This means that they can log into your site as yourself and your site is pretty much hacked at that point. In order to prevent that, in Joomla 3.2, we added a feature called two-factor authentication. Instead of just entering something you know, which is your username and password, you have to, al to also enter something that you have, a secret code. Um, so, before explaining what the secret code is, let me log in to my Joomla website and enable two-factor authentication. So, the very first time that you install Joomla 3.2 and access your backend, you will see this notice that you have post-installation messages. You just have to click on Review Messages. You see that two-factor authentication is available, plus a bit of information, which is the executive summary of what I presented so far. Click on Enable two-factor authentication, and you're ready to roll. So, once you go to the two-factor authentication tab, you can select an authentication method. Right now, we have Google Authenticator available. Google Authenticator is an application for smartphones created by Google, which allows you to generate a six-digit password, which changes every 30 seconds. So, in order to log into your site, you will need to use your username, your password, and the six-digit code, which changes every 30 seconds. Even if someone intercepts all three, he has a maximum of 30 seconds to hack your site. This is usually not practical for hackers. In this way, the two-factor authentication prevents you, prevents your site, uh, pro sorry, protects your site against unauthorized access. Setting up the two-factor authentication with Google Authenticator is actually very easy. Scrolling down this page, we can see that there is a QR code which we can scan with our mobile phone with the application uh, of Google Authenticator installed on our mobile phone. You will have to cut this section as I'm trying to find Google Authenticator on my phone. And afterwards, we can scroll down to the Activate to Factor Authentication, authentication field and enter the six-digit code that we see on uh, the screen of our mobile device. So in my case, it's 841242. And then click on Save and Close. Now our login is protected by two-factor authentication. So let me demonstrate what it looks. Logging out. And now you can see that instead of just asking me for my username and password, Joomla also asked me for a secret key. The secret key is the six-digit password that I see on my Google Authenticator uh, screen. And since there are more than 30 seconds elapsed since I um, activated this feature, it has now changed, and it's 997614. If it is correct, I am able to log into my site. However, if I don't enter anything, I can no longer log in. If I enter something random here, I'm not able to log in. And this is exactly what will happen to wannabe hackers who try to access your site's backend. Since they do not have the correct secret key, two-factor authentication kicks them out. And this is how Joomla 3.2 with two-factor authenticator keeps your site safe.